fun to kind of just tackle some of look at this i really love having two monitors again i just i missed it it's just relaxing to have something that i can actually see on like clearly i think i'm definitely going to get the extension mod f for this shifter because i feel like grabbing this is too short I want to hold it more like vertically and I'm grabbing it like it's a ball, so you know. It's okay though, there's a lot of mods for it, so hopefully it's pretty easy to do. I need to stop, I mean I guess I can rest my fingers on this, but I don't like that. It doesn't feel right having this here and doing that. I finally figured out reverse gear too, it took me like a while, well it actually took me until my dad uh, came over and tried out my setup for the first time, which I wish I would have recorded, but I didn't have anything set up. Um, he came over and tried it out and I didn't know how to get into reverse gear. Every video, every video that I had saw, I thought reverse was down into second for some reason. And that, now that I think about it, that does seem kind of stupid, but it's uh, down into sixth gear. And it's just very strange to me that that's how I thought about it. Straight to fifth. I think I'm overthinking it, honestly. One thing I noticed is after having a, a friend or, uh, try out this setup too, he actually drives a manual and he was pointing out like obviously, you know, there's like a plastic box here and like the feeling is still the same for like H pattern and all that, like it works. Both him and my dad, when they like first tried to do it, you put so much force into a real one, like a one that actually has like tension to it. Um, they both literally ripped it right off the desk. I was like, come on guys. Like they literally just ripped it right off the desk. This is sick though. I love it. this initially was going to be an unboxing video of this shifter, uh, but I was an idiot and deleted the footage, like permanently deleted it. And then after going through a few ways to try and recover it, uh, it ended up trying to cost me money. And I was like, hey, I will just make a normal video. Almost all of my cars that I enjoy like the most, they just have pretty basic like custom builds on them. This one's like super fast, honestly, for what it is, but it's a lot of fun to kind of just tackle some of Look at this. <laughs> and I can kind of, this is actually, I know it's not like ideal because the traction and stuff, but this is a fairly good way to practice um, counter steer with drifting in the sand here with this, because it's, you just break traction so easily that you can like, look at that. <laughs> me in third all right let's go ahead and get a little bit of practice and i want to learn how to drift properly because like e-brake drifting is fine sure but oh my god look at that angle, baby do it one more time fourth And see, this is like proper weight transfer here. If when I try and maintain a drift, like a, like this drift zone here, if I were to, I'm going to try and mirror this drift zone outside of the zone, like in the, in the sand here, it's going to be so much easier in the sand for me than it would be on there because of the traction and all, honestly, the narrow part of it too. It's sort of like a toe drift, not necessarily like open. Well, I guess it is open street drifting. It's still, I don't know. There's a lot to it that I just don't quite get yet and straight to fifth like an idiot honestly learning more of i can't think of the learning more like accelerator I, I don't know what the word is that i'm trying to think of well one learning learning weight control overall on like how to shift weight is better than just e-drifting because you could pretty quickly take a corner if you handbrake and do that and like sure that's you know it's fun that's what I, to me it's whatever's fun and whatever looks good but like in my head i want to learn the proper like best times to shift how to maintain drift too i have a hard time with that in a seto maintaining drift also if anyone knows how to more properly set one of these up in a seto i'm gonna probably look up a couple videos but it's really wonky for some reason like i i would think of all the games it wouldn't be that hard to set it up in that one but it's kind of weird my overall plan for my room here is to actually have a i don't come here a lot so that's loading 
I want this to be a very quick and easy uh, sim setup for racing and flying. So ideally, I want to be able to have this ready to go, but not like this. Like I want this stuff to be on like a sort of track system or something where I can just kind of whip them out and go and keep it like plugged into it. It sounds almost impossible, but I know it's not because I can, I've done other things like that before that aren't that hard to do. It's more just finding the best, most effective way to do it. I just want it to be, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want it to be quick. Because if I'm sitting here racing for a second and I think, you know what, I want to switch to like, maybe not like a yoke, but like probably I'll, I'll probably go with Hotas for that. I don't know. I just want it to feel like something I can do, you know, where am I going? Look at that 360 reverse banging it in the third like that. What a freaking champ. Anyways, this shifter itself is like awesome. I think it's really great. It does add a different level of immersion because like I said, I was used to using the paddle shifters now finally, which I wasn't used to shifting at all in the first place. So learning the proper times to like manually shift a car was different for me. Um, but definitely using the paddle shifters uh, and some GT racing like Gran Turismo and Nacetto and things that I've done. Um, that was fun and it's kind of revitalized all of my it's revitalized the hobby for me a little bit because i was really like into drifting for a while but i kind of I, don't know, I had a lot of things going on with work and just life and everything so i had to take some time off and i didn't really have time and like i was saying too when i sort of get out of the mindset to want to do this type of thing and then i have to come in and like grab the wheel put it on the desk plug it in like it sounds like a lazy thing, but it's more an, an ease of use thing. I want it to be easy to use. And I was thinking of separate options as like, okay, maybe I leave everything set up on my desk, but get mounts for like my monitors and my mount up my monitors, mount up my speakers, mount up my, my keyboard, even get that off the desk too. And have the only things on the desk being my sim stuff. So the wheel, this, I guess my mouse would have to stay on the desk. The wheel, this, and like the Hotest system here right beside it pretty much or I think let me know in the comments if you have any like cool ideas for that I just use the paddles when I'm trying not to do that let me know if you have any cool ideas for like ways to set this up my desk by the way is huge and very customizable well I guess very customizable is a big I have three separate desks on this big U shape previously there was it was one here on the side and then two long ones that way playing PlayStation on this especially Gran Turismo which I had already experienced on my TV I just can't change my 4k experience back to this the super tiny monitor that's only 1080p at 60 hertz like that's a big difference compared to a 4k at 60 hertz even just the quality overall so i actually moved my third table that i had to my bedroom put all of my computer and everything in there and i didn't even use my office or studio space for anything and it was honestly that's what slowed down my video and beat production for the most part because i just left everything in the uh I left all my beat stuff in here. I didn't have the space in the room to bring it all in there. It was just a sort of mixed bag of fun, but also not productive. So now, now that I have this set up, now that I have this monitor, everything set up like I want it to be, I can uh, think I can get back into a really good swing of things. Also, I've been playing the Modern Warfare 2 beta, and I gotta be honest, like, I'm gonna probably have a, a video out on just the beta, because I did one for Modern Warfare, so it'd be kind of cool to compare those two videos, but I really like it. One of those things that people are going to hate me for saying, like as just a person overall, like I, I really enjoy the, the beta. This car is sick. This looks like a freaking Batmobile. Oh wait, this one. No, no, no. You know what one really does? Hang on. I think I even have, I don't know if they're bats, but it's a black and white gradient on this thing. Oh, look at how clean they're bats because this thing is literally a Batmobile. You have, you have one gear, I think. You have one gear in reverse, so. <laughs> this game is great for arcade racing and drifting. I just really enjoy the speed, the sense of speed in this game. I need to, if I up my FOV, I bet you'd be crazy. Let's hit the, I'm going to hit the jump. My computer's going to die, but I'm going to hit the jump. I think, I don't remember if this is the fastest car in the game. It's literally changed every month, so. Watch the, watch the rubber banding here. <laughs>
Let's go, baby. 1,500 feet. What are we group progressing towards? I, I'm not doing anything, so I don't know what kind of progress I'm making, but... <laughs> I'm literally getting ultimate drifts because of the traction of this thing. Anyways, this video was sort of about the shifter, sort of about upgrades, sort of about the overall just kind of thing. Like I said, I did initially have an unboxing video for this thing. Honestly, the... The overall quality and just feel of this shifter is is good overall. It's definitely like you can kind of feel that it's not like the the Thrustmaster one, the one that's a little bit taller, right, and has is made out of like full metal. But this pairing with this wheel like perfectly. Like I said, it's worked well with almost every other game that I've tried it with. Um, I don't know why a set of course is weird, but Car X does fine in and really Car X set of course uh, for is a Grand Turismo 7. That's, those are the games that I play, and it works well in all of them. I just really need to figure out the Assetto Corsa one. Packaging was great, too. It just comes... It, I like the fact that the texture of it really does match the wheel. It feels kind of like... Not like a loose leather or like a super, like, crisp kind of fake leather. It feels like a nice, like, nicely tight-wrapped leather, if that makes sense. And then the feeling, just the tactical feeling of it, too, is great when I learn how to... Do that not to mention this wheel like base and uh the shifter and everything there are so many mods out there for it and the fact that you can just replace the knob and everything and give it every one i'm probably going to get a vertical one because that seems like a little more like when i reach for it i don't reach like this i reach like this and when i reach like this i want to kind of i want to grab it like here almost to shift because my hand can more accurately that makes sense. That makes sense. I, I can more accurately push like this rather than like this. Because like this, I want to just go forward or backwards. Um, but with this, I want to look like this. You see what I mean? Is that, <laughs> you see what I mean? You get what I mean? All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe. Sorry for any audio or visual glitches. It does take me time to sort out these settings. And as I said, my computer is getting on the older end so i'll probably have a modern warfare video up sometime soon this week if you have any suggestions about how to set this up properly with the seto tips you want to check out my last drifting video go ahead and do that check out my peach channel i'm gonna get something up there it's been months but i'm gonna get something on there this this month sometime probably see you guys in the next one peace